Welcome to Learnpedia. Score more and rank better in JE and NEET. Let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to answer this question, continue watching this video. We'll study about the Doppler effect. Here is some source of sound S. And here is some observer. Okay. And we are assuming that source and observer both are moving towards each other. Okay. So source is moving with the speed of US and observer is moving with the speed U0. And the speed of sound is V. Okay. No wind is there, nothing else. So this is the situation when source is moving towards the observer and observer is moving towards the source. We can combine all those results. And one thing that we have already noticed that whenever source or observer move towards each other, in that case, frequency increases. And when they move away from each other, in that case, frequency decreases. So here, if we see that for this particular situation, if we remember that apparent frequency nu is equal to actual frequency nu naught into you have to write a speed of sound in numerator, a speed of sound in denominator. Okay. And after that, remember, observer is on the numerator and source is in the denominator. Okay. Source is in denominator. So when observer moves towards the source, then what happens? Frequency increases because observer is in the numerator. So to increase the frequency, you have to apply the sign plus. When source moves towards the observer, then according to the motion of the source, frequency should increase. Since source motion is in the denominator, so to increase the frequency, we have to keep it minus so that the value may be increased. So here you can see that both the factors are increasing the apparent frequency of the source. So this was the case when source and observer both move towards each other. So observer observed frequency will be this. And similarly, suppose source is here, observer is here, observer is moving in this direction with the speed u naught, and source is moving in this direction us. The speed of sound is v. So in this case, if we want to write the apparent frequency, then we'll write nu is equal to nu naught into a speed of sound in numerator, a speed of sound in denominator, observer, and here denominator is the source. Source is moving towards observer from its side. So according to the source, the frequency should increase. Since source motion is in denominator, so increased value means we'll put negative sign to decrease the denominator. Okay. And here observer is moving away from the source. So observer's motion is so that that apparent frequency is less than the actual frequency. So U0, so motion is decreasing the apparent frequency since it is in the numerator so to decrease you have to put the negative sign so that is how you can remember all these formulae means if source is moving this way with a speed us and observer is moving with a speed u naught in this case nu is equal to nu naught into v numerator v in the denominator observer's motion in numerator source motion in denominator source is moving away from observer. So motion of the source is decreasing the frequency, so it should be plus. Observer is moving towards the source, so this is increasing the frequency. Since it is a numerator, so it should be plus. And in the same way, the fourth only possibility will be this. Both are moving away from each other. So both the motions are decreasing the apparent frequency of the source. So to decrease in the numerator, negative, in the denominator, it is positive. So it will be the formula for this situation. So these are the four possible cases when there is relative motion between source and observer. So these are the frequencies, apparent frequencies that we can understand. Okay. But all these formulae are valid only till the source velocity is not greater than sound. Means this Doppler's effect is applicable only when source is moving with a speed less than that of the sound. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. 
Here's the answer to the question that was asked in the beginning. Keep watching to give an edge to your JE and NEET preparation. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying.